The haggling in the Jubilee Coalition is only the latest attempt to find a shortcut to the much acclaimed concept known as democracy. Many parties are now resorting to what analysts are calling negotiated democracy to forestall costly fallout. But is real democracy being lost in the process? KTN's Rita Tinina now takes a closer look at the emerging trend. With political parties having beaten the deadline for formation of coalitions, the next headache is now at hand. Party primaries. Nominations have in the past proved to be a landmine for some parties and have at times led to fallouts. Even the ability of any single uh, political party to hold free and fair elections. They have no machinery, they have no resources, security isn't there. Now it appears parties are seeking to stem divisions by reaching agreements. Is it negotiated democracy or a subversion of real democracy? We are far from realizing a democratic process where people are going to be chosen on the basis of the ideas they bring to the table. What we have is who is standing, where is he from? Is he my tribe? In Siaya County, voters were preparing for a titanic battle pitting Prime Minister Raila Odinga's big brother Oburu Odinga and Raila's right-hand man James Orengo. Orengo and Oburu were both eyeing the Siaya Senate seat. But now the two have come to a negotiated settlement. Oburu stepped down for Orengo and will now be gunning for the Siaya governor's position. The fallout would have been worse for the party. And so it was necessary that some kind of negotiations be done uh, to enable uh, James Orengo not to take on uh, Oburo Dinga. In Migori County, an agreement by ODM has seen the party reserve the senator's ticket for the Korea region, in effect giving the party's ticket to Korea MP Wilfred Machage. Under the agreement, the predominantly Luo side of the county will take the governor's position. Analysts say the so-called negotiated democracy may take root in the new county dispensation. Democracy per se, where the first past the post we takes it, is problematic because then when you're addressing issues of minority, you then only have to do that through uh, a nomination process that takes care of that. Unless you do that, then they're never ever going to have a representation at that level. So we must admit that this is a scenario we'll be seeing in Kenya, especially around the various uh, counties where there are multiple multi-ethnic in the past few days confusion has rocked the jubilee coalition over the mode of nominating its presidential flag bearer with tna and urp advocating for a secret ballot and udf pushing for consensus i think Musalia is a, a very good epitome of what our politics is about the democracy is only democracy if it works in your favor so in ODM, he said there was no democracy. Uh, uh, he demanded nominations to be done at the county level. And when that was not given, the county issue was not given, the issue of automatic party leader was deleted, he still left. On the contrary, his position has been, let's sit in the boardroom, let's decide. Now, uh, that is a bit of a, uh, an oxymoron, that um, you can't preach one thing and when it suits you, you take another. With the coalitions now in place, the search for nomination tickets promises to be an acrimonious exercise. And with the realities introduced by the county system of government, will the so-called negotiated democracy stand in the way of true democracy? Rita Tinina, KTN, Nairobi.